If you've already worked with SharePoint, you already know how important metadata is to have a good experience, whether it is searching for documents, whether it is filtering in a list or library, or whether it's simply opening a library and making sure that you understand what every document is about. Now, there are many different ways to use AI to extract data from documents and put it in different fields. But the problem with them is they might create different variations of the same piece of content every single time. And uh, when you try to filter or search, that will just create multiple options for the same exact thing. It doesn't help us much. This is where taxonomy tagging comes in. Welcome back everyone to the Ultimate SharePoint Content AI series. I'm again joined by my good friend Goken Aschivchi. And for those of you that have been following along, this is part 14 of the series. So, uh, and for those of you that are new, well, welcome to the series. We really hope you're gonna enjoy this video and uh, check out some of the other ones. But now, Goken, I'll let you take it away. Thank you so much, Vlad. It's always a pleasure to be with you on, on, on screen. And the phenomenal part is that your introduction already covers half of my slides. So I'm going to just repeat what you said. Well, taxonomy tagging in SharePoint uses AI to automatically apply term from your organization, from metadata, um, within your document and your field, your document libraries. Um, and you can definitely use them to, you know, search and um, sort and filter and so on and so on. So basically, you just upload the document and then AI will just analyze that file, go and check within the management of data and then apply those terms if there is a match being done. Um, today, there are only four types that are supported for that kind of operation. We go for doc, docx. PDF and PowerPoint X, so only that. I think it, it covers finish. the most important ones, but still, I know totally. it be bigger. A lot of other AI options have more, but this go. is a very good start. It is. So those four only, and you have a few things to bear in mind. Within a document library, you can only have five uh, of that kind of column, so you can't have more than five taxonomy okay. tagging within a document library. The second part is it only works on native PDFs. So no okay. scanned PDFs, unfortunately. So you cannot scan something and say, hey, analyze that and bring me that within um, the taxonomy field. The, the, the third and the most tricky side is, and I know you have a joke about the Microsoft Minutes. <laughs> this is a bit more of that Microsoft Minute. It's between 20 minutes well, up to the Microsoft hours. Minute can be anything. That's the thing, okay? The Microsoft Minute is so, from 30 seconds to 72 hours. So, so this is less than a Microsoft Minute. So it can go up to 24 hours maximum in order to extract um, the field and bring it to your document library. There is no backfill, unfortunately. So if you already have like documents in your document library, you create that column. Well, you have to re-upload them in order to... Okay, so you cannot do like autofill where you can select them and press mm -hmm. autofill. No, you can't, unfortunately. Okay. So that's the biggest drawback. And the columns are editable. So it's not because they extracted something and put it in your column. Well, you can always modify it. So if you're not happy with the result, feel okay. free to modify it. So you can always have a workflow where AI does almost everything and somebody checks it, for example. Probably. Okay, awesome. Again, the automation guy that talks. <laughs> okay, next one is here are the four steps in order to use taxonomy tagging while enabling pay as you go. Um, setting up the taxonomy tagging and then we can either create a new column or use an existing one and modify it. That's the only slides I had. So if you're ready for demo, I... I it's, can you go one slide back really, really quick? Yes. Um, for those of you that are new to the series, uh, for the first part, enable pay as you go. If you haven't done it already, we have a dedicated video that only covers how to do that. So if you haven't done it yet, after this video, go check out. It'll be linked in the description below. Now, Goken, I know you already spent too much time on slides for your usual, so there you go. I'll let you go to the demo. There you go. So I have a document library, and you will see that there is nothing special about it. And now we just add a column, and what you're going to see here under Manage Metadata, when you click on Next, is after enabling pay as you go services, well, you get that automatic tag documents with terms. So this is the first time I see it. So you need pay as you go and you need to have it enabled on the site and then you have those options. There you go. Awesome. And then I'm going to just select 
my term here within my term set. So you can, I can either go on that name, but you can also go here and say, you know what? I have multiple customers and I want every time that I'm uploading a document, check the content of it. And if there is a match with those names, fill in my column with that data. Awesome. And I'm gonna just select customers and click on save. One golden rule that I'm actually giving to everyone is try to use, if your governance and, you know, like people permits to use the premium logo or the diamond logo, and then just have the name in front of that. You do know that half of the people are going to love it and half of the governance people, they're going to hate you for giving that idea, and right? That's why I say check with your governance people first, because when I create this look how it's beautiful and it's somehow the same as the power platform you know like premium connectors now there's a premium column half of me is like this is beautiful the other half wonders what does the idea of the column look like <laughs> if i want to put it into pnp oh, and things like that please but don't anyway please don't it's just again check with your governance <laughs> people if you're allowed to do that because uh, some of them might hate you <laughs> Uh, and now I'm going to just click here and then upload a file. And let me go for my PDF file just here and click. But what happens if Wingtip Toys doesn't have any of VNEX solutions or Neoxy? If there is no match, it's going to be empty. Okay, it's going to be empty. So now we'll have to wait 20 minutes up to 24 hours in order to see our column be filled in. Okay, we're back. So now you can see here that my document is uploaded and I can see that it extracted the value from my metadata um, store and I have like VNEX Solutions Inc. And if I go check here, well, it's exactly the same value as you can see in my term store. As I said, hey, this is like editable field. So if you're not happy with that, you can always, you know, delete that and bring your own value into it. But that's how automatically things are being done with the taxonomy tag. That's amazing. So you can combine, I know you said we can only have five columns of this type, but I can add another five of type autofill if I want to, for example, right? And this way still extract 10 columns from that document. Yes. Y yes. I know I'm asking you all the uh, edge cases and weird things like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot. Yes, you, you can. You can add that, those. You can even go like for any other AI model then and then have almost all of the kind of scenarios. But technically, yes, you could do that. Okay. And I know you're a big autofill fan. So yes, you can do that, Flads. Okay. Thank you. I'm happy now. <laughs> no worries. So that's basically it. nothing very spectacular, but I think it's core for any content management within SharePoint. And I know organizations have been struggling to put metadata into their columns. Well, nobody wants to do it. And that's a problem. It's important, but nobody, nobody wants to do it. And, and just by having those columns, autofills, AI models, and, and so on and so forward, well, you can add and fill in your columns with exactly the value you want to see for a better content management within SharePoint. So I have a question for you, Gokin. Is this free? It's not for free. That's why you have the little diamond there. There right? you go. And I know that this is a premium service that I'm going to consume money from my credit card with the Piazigo services. Awesome. But for all of you on the screen right now, you're going to see exactly how much it costs per extraction or per transaction. This way you have all the information. We've already covered it in the setting up billing pay as you go. But if you just watch this video, this way you have it on the screen and you get your answer right away. Goken, anything else you want to add or it's, it's just that easy? I feel like this video is too short. It's just that easy. I can just show one more thing if you have time. It's with I'm always have time for you. This. Well, here I have the taxonomy tagging. And again, I can just edit and say, okay, this is available to all sites, no sites, or I can select up to 100 sites. That's awesome. I love it. Well, Goken, thank you so much for your time. This has been an amazing deep dive. Uh, for everybody watching, uh, we really hope you have enjoyed this as well. If you want to check out the next video in this series, it should appear on the screen right about now. Uh, and make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. This way you get notified as soon as more amazing content like this one gets released. So thank you so much and see you in the next one.